we're at Witten Engineering in Barnsall. Now, your machine shop, it's all about turn parts, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. We're, so we're a precision turn parts manufacturer. Uh, we've been on site since 1970. Um, and yeah, we're very busy at the moment. Brilliant. And just a bit of history though, you started in 1953, but it wasn't quite so local, was it? No, so we started off in Wembley, right. before my time. Um, <laughs> and we relocated down here around 1969, 70, as part of a government relocation enterprise scheme. And apparently there was a few different sites uh, that they could have chosen, but luckily they chose North Devon. Near the seaside. Yeah, near the seaside. <laughs> Um, lovely countryside around here. Brilliant. And uh, yeah, we've been here ever since. But as move, moving on, great bit of background history, but it is turn, part, turn parts. How many parts do you reckon you're making a month? And I won't hold you to it exactly. Oh, uh, I'd say in general on the turn parts side, it's got to be in excess of 100, 150,000. Wow, okay. So you've got yeah. to have that. The machines are going to give you reliability, accuracy, yeah. continuity. Yeah, you need solid machines. Yeah. Um, we, you know, we, we sort of, we supply parts for a range of industries, a range of sectors, uh, anything from automotive to we've done body jewellery in the past, um, you know, lots of industrial hydraulic type stuff. Yep. Um, so obviously their demands, they go up and down, yep. depending on what's going on in the, in the world at the time. As we know, it's, it's a bit sort of, uh, let's say, uncertain at the moment in Absolutely. certain sectors. But, um, but because part, part of what you do is you've had to keep ahead of the game so you're always yeah. investing yeah and that's always been a part of our company ethos okay. since like you know we come down here in the seven in the 70s Ian who's the retired uh, MD he's always been on that he's always kind of um, tried to stay ahead of the competition yep. get involved with some of the bigger players in terms of the subcontract industry and um, invest yeah. Um, in the likes of Citizen Machines. Citizen, yeah, so you're, you're sliding here. Well, and you've got Miano as well, so you've got Citizen, yes. so you've got Miano. We've got one Miano, so, yeah. Absolutely. And one, one of your first, or your first one, L25 from 1995, still going yeah, strong? Yeah, 95, still going strong. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a bit of a filler machine these days, but the jobs we know it can run, it runs lovely on there. Brilliant. Never had problems on it. So, yeah, then we sort of decided to the next, yeah, the, the latest machine, we're standing next to the D25. D25, yeah. What, why have you bought this? Well, we bought this because, obviously, some of our other machines are getting on a bit in terms of age, mm. in terms of maintenance costs, yeah. and um, we, wanted to, we wanted to get a machine that was sort of a bit further down in terms of technology that's offered these days right. on the siding head side. Um, and, you know, so far, so good. We've, you know, we've been really impressed with it. The cycle time's have been sort of slashed by around 20% so far. Right, is that I, down to programming or actual technology in the machine? I think it's a bit of both. It is, um, okay. And I think that potentially we should be able to improve on that as well. Right. Because once, we have, once we're settled down, we've got a long running job coming up in July. Yeah. And once that kicks in, we should be able to spend a bit of time on uh, making improvements, yep. rather than rushing from one job to the other and, you know. And you're talking long running job. I mean, how many, how many sort of parts are you going to be manufacturing? Uh, well, we, we are looking at at least 300,000 wow. um, but this particular one but the customers told me that it could potentially just continue oh, yeah. um, he's told us we're going to be the sole supplier for it um, we've already got the initial order cover obviously these days supply getting supplied materials is a bit more long-winded than it was yeah. uh, so we can't start until July but we're gonna you know we're gonna start in a, in a week or so really getting to into the machine yep. and um, get the program all organised. This has confidence that you'll be able to keep, you know, running. You're going to get that longevity, yeah. accuracy, yeah, and yeah, yeah running it overnight. We run similar parts at the moment. I mean, overnight running may be down the line, but to start with, we'll keep it simple. Yeah, uh, like this I say, we run similar stuff, and we know we kind of know what to expect from Citizen on this sort of work. Okay. So, so in terms of Citizen, then support from Tony and the applications guys that, that they look after. Yeah, you? it's always been good. Yeah, always been very good at communicating with us yeah. if we get in touch with Tony and say you know we need to chat about a possible new investment he's down here within about 10 minutes <laughs> yeah any <laughs> sniff of a sale Tony be here <laughs> but I mean they're a long way away in terms of Bushy and up in Burma but they, they do look after you. I mean, in terms of parts this part here is quite it looks a fairly fairly straightforward part but quite tight tolerances what's happening with this part yeah so it's quite it's got it has got a tight tolerance on it I mean it, it's uh it's a filler part for us while we're sort of waiting for material to come in for the next one but yeah. It's quite tough material. We've done it on many other citizens in the past here. 
differing results in terms of cycle time. Yeah. But again, good result. You know, it's it's spitting them out nice and fast. No problems in terms of uh, swarf or uh, you know any sort of quality concerns. So right. yeah. Ticks that box, another it's job. It's interesting to say about the swarf because this machine has got LFD, but you haven't actually you, you haven't actually used the LFD yet. No, we haven't yet. Yeah. No, we haven't. We haven't really. Uh, obviously, like I say, it's still fairly early days in terms of yeah. really getting our heads into it. We've been really, really busy since uh, I guess sort of September last year. Mm -hmm. So it's been a real sort of um, sprint, if you like, just to really pick up again after the COVID yeah. downturn. So, but these machines again will give you that flexibility. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What about you've got some other components? Just talk me through those. Yeah. Yeah. So we've got um, this is a, the part that was running on here just for this one actually. It's a it's a shaft for lawnmowers. Right. Um, I think it's sort of the, like the budget lower end of the scale in terms of price lawnmowers. But these are shafts that go within each uh, one, and these are these are the ones you'd see in all the sort of. Um, the sheds that you see on industrial parks and things yep. like that. Okay. Um, so what are, you, what are the actual process you're doing here? So they're threading, turning. Yeah. A nice knurl on it. Nice yep. clean knurl. Um, and yeah, that's that's more or less it. But we we do sort of tens of thousands of these ones Again. every every sort of fortnight, I guess. Uh, <laughs> we pack them into these bins here, and um, yeah, then they get palletized, and off we go. Yeah. We supply two or three different customers with slightly different versions of these. Yep. But this is one that we've run on here. And the yeah. cycle time again was brilliant. It's brilliant. Got, it was um, yeah. If you're running tens of thousands. What about the other? What about the other component you've got there yeah. as well? So this other one here, it's an automotive component. Yep. Uh, it's known as an inlet fitting. Uh, again, I mean that, that side of the business has sort of um, slowed somewhat with the uh, the issues in the industry at the moment in the automotive. But um, it's a it's a long running part. We're mid contract on it at the moment. Right. Okay. And again. It's, there's real tight tolerances on this one. There's a cone in there. Um, you're not allowed, you know, kind of any swarf. Right. Um, we, in the past, we've run it on different machines on site. And, you know, we, you have to get an army of people in to check there's no swarf in there. Okay. When it was running on here, we didn't have a problem with that. Right. So we and knew, that's, without the, that's without even the, using that's the LFV? That's without the LFV. Wow, that's actually yeah. brilliant. Okay. So, so these, oh, just to rank, there's. No problem in terms of range of materials and things like that. Uh, not, that we, not that we know of at the yeah. moment. I mean, you know, like I say, we've got good experience with citizens here. Yeah. And what you know, what we're experienced with. Yep. Um, but we think that you know this one could potentially open up more doors for us. Right. And improve on jobs we're already running on other machines that we've got here already. Okay. So brilliant. You know, we know they last. They last for ages. Well, as per, per going back to your first one, the yeah. L25 from 1995. Yeah. Tom, great insight into a fantastic machine shop making. 100,000 parts every month, dated back to 1953.